What's going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and today we are back with another Jaguars video. Now this one might be short and to the point, but it's something that I keep seeing on Jaguar social media, whether that be Jaguar Facebook, Jaguar Twitter, Jaguar Instagram, Jaguar Reddit, anything like that. And that is the idea that the Jaguars are the second to third favorites to land Jameis Winston or Cam Newton. Now, I understand, kind of, where like some people are coming from where they say, oh, let's get Cam Newton, or oh, let's get Jameis Winston, come on, bring him into Duval, let's win some games. I'm going to tell you that that would be the most idiotic move by the franchise that they could possibly ever do is bring in Cam Newton or Jameis Winston. I'm going to tell you why. So this is why the Jacksonville Jaguars should not bring in Jameis Winston or Cam Newton during the 2020 season. Now, the reasons why the Jaguars should not pick up Jameis Winston or Cam Newton should be obvious. Now, I understand some people think Gardner Minshew might have been this flash in the pan, might have just been this all-right quarterback. Dude, when you don't have that much around you and you still manage to make do with what you have and win football games and you're a six-round pick with that low of expectations, you have every right to enter the next year's campaign as the starting quarterback, especially after they just traded away their $80 million quarterback in Nick Foles. This is your guy in 2020. Gardner Minshew is the quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2020. There's no debate. There's no thought. There's nothing about it. He is the guy. Now, I understand the fact that the Jags kind of lack that backup quarterback, but let me tell you two things here. Thing number one, Gardner Minshew is tough. He's super, super tough. He's the type of quarterback that, you know, could get hurt a little bit and he'll still play through it and he'll still play well. He's not going to be a guy that gets like a bum ankle or a bum shoulder and is like, ah, I can't play, especially when he is not making that much money, which is something else that we are going to get to in a little bit. He's not making that much money, so this is his proving grounds, and this is where he's got to prove that he is an NFL quarterback. So if the Jaguars aren't the team that want him for the future, he needs to show a tape to show to other teams why he can be their quarterback of the future or why he can at least be a backup in the league. Gardner Minshew is not going to be... An injury guy. He's not going to be like, oh, I'm hurt, dude. I mean, he did he did a thing where he literally beat his hand with a hammer so he can get an extra year of eligibility. And I don't think that ended up working, but the man beat his hand. Like, a, like that is the toughest thing I've ever heard with a hammer. Like, this is a guy that is the toughest person in your locker room. He's not going to get injured. So, if he does get injured, the main worry about people that want to bring in guys like Cam Newton, want to bring in guys like Jameis Winston, is that jo Josh Dobbs is the backup quarterback. I completely understand that. I get that. Josh Dobbs isn't necessarily what you would call an elite quarterback. But like I said prior to that, I don't think Gardner Minshew gets hurt. I don't think... He doesn't have it in him. He doesn't have the mentality to where if he gets hurt that he's going to just, you know, hobble off the field. He's going to come back and then rehab after that game's over, get better, get right, and make sure he's ready for the next game. He's not going to be a guy that just sits down, takes an injury, and just, you know, marinates in it and is out for however long, kind of like Nick Foles. I get Nick Foles broke his clavicle, but you know what I mean. I understand Josh Dobbs isn't necessarily the most picture-perfect backup quarterback, and you guys want to bring in guys like Cam Newton or Jameis Winston to be the starting quarterback. Why on earth would you take that away from Gardner Minshew for one? Gardner Minshew busted his ass to get to the spot where he's at today to make sure he was going to be the starting quarterback in 2020. And he has earned that right. He earned the opportunity to get another shot to be the guy. You guys want to bring in guys like Jameis Winston and Cam Newton to be the starter and have Gardner Minshew be the backup. It's like, did you not see what he did last year? And you want to just bring in, you know, Cam Newton or Jameis Winston to just completely rip that away from him? This man literally breathes Duval air. This is the man Duval needs. He fits into Jacksonville, Florida 
you know, Blake Bortles fit in really well to Jacksonville, Florida, but Gardner Minshew fits so well in Jacksonville, Florida, and he has all the makings of a franchise quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Prove me wrong, he does. And 2020 is his year to show that, and they're really trying to develop the defense around him, and, you know, hopefully through the draft to get some guys like maybe a C.D. Lamb to, you know, provide him some more extra targets. I mean, currently they got guys like Keelan Cole, D.D. Westbrook, and DJ Chark, you know, all three guys that Minshew has developed chemistry with over the years, and they bring in a guy like Tyler Eifert. Tyler Eifert is a one of the better tight ends in the league. Did I say in the last video it might have been a little bit too late? It might be, but Tyler Eifert's a guy that, you know, I think Gardner Minshew can bring the best out of him, and I think Tyler Eifert can bring the best out of Gardner Minshew. Now, another big problem with bringing in Cam Newton or Jameis Winston is they're not just going to accept a freaking petty check. The biggest reason why Gardner Minshew should be the starting quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2020 is because they are paying him less than a million dollars. He has an opportunity to make a million dollars with the incentives that he has, but they're paying him less than that. And he is a cheap option. So if this does blow up in their face, Gardner isn't the guy, and you know maybe Josh Dobbs comes in and plays a little bit, they still have an opportunity to get, you know, Freaking tank for Trevor next year. Get the first overall pick. I know that hasn't been the Jaguars' forte over the last couple of years. You know, they've been bad, but they've never been the worst. But, you know, if Gardner ends up being that awful, they have an opportunity to tank for Trevor and get him. Simple as that. Simple as that. Easy peasy. Freaking wipe your hands clean of Gardner. It's done. I never will be able to completely let go of Gardner Minshew. You can't tell, really, but I'm wearing a... Washington State hat right now because, you know, Gardner really kind of took WSU by storm and made sure that that was a notable football team almost to the Rose Bowl. An unfortunate loss to Washington in the snow was the reason that they uh, didn't get to that point. But I know Gardner Minshew, the quarterback, I know Gardner Minshew is a leader, and I know that he has all those abilities to take this Jaguar team to the next level or take it to where it needs to go. So you're going to be paying Jameis Winston. You're going to have to pay Jameis Winston more than you're going to have to pay Cam Newton. And do you really want to pay Jameis Winston that much money from what he's done? Yes, he threw. He led the league in touchdown passes. He led the league in yards last year. But he also led the league in interceptions. And yeah, he got that LASIK surgery. But how much of a difference is that really going to make? You know, if you're going to offer him. You know, and the thing is, too, is I don't think the Jags will offer Jameis or Cam Newton more than a one-year deal, more than like a prove-it deal. And if you're going to sign a guy to a prove-it deal, he wants a guaranteed start, and I don't think the Jags are quite ready to, you know, give a guy a guaranteed start. And you look at the offensive coordinator for the Jaguars and Jay Gruden, he has developed quarterbacks to be studs. I mean, Andy Dalton, unfortunately, kind of had that downfall after Jay Gruden left, but at the time, you know, he was a playoff quarterback. He was one of the most impressive young QBs in the league. And then you got Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is still a really good quarterback, and Jay Gruden has a big responsibility for developing Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins ended up getting that massive, massive contract from the Minnesota Vikings, and he's made the playoffs, I believe, now twice as a Viking. And Jay Gruden can do the same exact thing with Gardner Minshew and build Gardner Minshew up. And Gardner might be, you know, starting out even better than Kirk Cousins was, even better than Andy Dalton was, and those are first-round draft picks. The thing is, is Gardner Minshew brings every single tool necessary to be a franchise quarterback in the NFL today. He's mobile, he has escapability, he has, you know, the accuracy, the decision-making, he doesn't throw a lot of interceptions. He did fumble a little bit, but, you know, that fixes the offensive line. Good as new. You know, he's not going to fumble as much. I love Garner Minshew paired up with Jay Gruden, and I think that that's just going to take Minshew to the next step. You pair a guy like Winston or Newton with Gruden, you're not going to get the same effect. And the Jags don't have, they have the money, but they shouldn't be using that money on a position that they possibly already have filled. 
They should be using that money in this year's free agency and next year's free agency to really build against the gaping holes that this team has. I mean, they already got rid of guys like Calais Campbell. That's going to have to get fixed. A.J. Boye, that's going to have to get fixed. Like, There's so many holes in this Jaguar team that they need to use that money for that they would pay a Jameis Winston or they would pay a Cam Newton that they just cannot afford to get either one. And they both will not be happy in Jacksonville. I can guarantee you that. They're going to be art like Doug and Jameis or Doug and Cam Newton are going to be arguing on the sidelines. Like they will not be happy in Jacksonville. They won't. They might be happy with the paycheck you cut them, but trust me the front office is going to regret that the second that they do it. So, with that being said, I'm telling you right now, Jameis Winston Cam Newton do not sign either one of them. Roll with Gardner Minshew. If he gets hurt, Josh Dobbs, you know, hopefully it's only for one, two weeks. And if we have to roll with Josh Dobbs for the remainder of the season, tank for Trevor, man. That's all there is to it. I mean, I mean, I guess at that point, you know, Gardner got hurt. But you know what I'm saying? Like, if Gardner doesn't pan out and I look like an idiot and I'm completely wrong about the situation, but I know Gardner Minshew. I watched him play in college. You know, like, I've, like, followed his career, like, from when he got to WSU, seeing what he did. You know, I was hyped about Gardner before a lot of people were. Like, I literally, you go back and watch any of my mock drafts from last year, I had, in a lot of mock drafts, the Jaguars getting Gardner Minshew in the sixth round, and what happened, the Jags got Gardner in the sixth round, and he performed, and he played extremely, extremely well. So please, Jacksonville, whatever you do, just let Gardner Minshew ride it out. Do not sign Cam Newton or Jameis Winston. And that was why the Jaguars shouldn't target Cam Newton or Jameis Winston. What'd you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Dream Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Dream Talks. Or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.